Hi guys, it's Darren here from DeepBlueApps.com. I'm just going to quickly explain the cost and sin to uh, some of the users. People are getting a little bit confused with it. When really it's quite easy uh, to understand and work out. So I'm just going to explain it in this video. See, we've got a blue actor and a yellow pill. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. This is what probably a lot of people will do to begin with. And then I'm going to show you an advanced way where you don't need any of these attributes or constraints, as many as constraints as we're going to have. So I've just made three attributes there, hero x and y, integer and an angle. And in the hero, we're just constraining those three attributes to the self position x, y and its self rotation. Just made a couple of simple keyboard commands there just to rotate left and right. Now in the gun, you can see it's constraining the x position to game hero x plus 150 times cos plus the angle uh, is there and for the sin we're doing exactly the same thing now this number here the 150 this is a distance from the center so the center is here pretty much where this red cross is that's the center 150 you probably put it around about there somewhere so that's the distance from the center if you wanted it closer you just reduce that so you can imagine starting in the middle if you wanted it to go out 50 100 150 etc etc now you see here it's constraining there the angle here is zero which is always to the right and a quick tip is to make your sprites facing right if you're going to rotate them then have your sprites facing right and you can't really go too far wrong so like I've said that's the distance but what if we wanted the ball up here well that's where the angle comes into play and we can do plus 90 and we can have plus 90 as well you can also use negative numbers but if you go negative 20 for example then that's just going to be the same as plus 3 340 so I just stick to the positive numbers so you don't get confused and now you can see here look the ball is constraining to the angle plus 90 so it's above the blue character the best thing to do is just have a little play with these numbers. You can also change these numbers. See we've got 100 for the cost and 150 for the sin. And that's going to produce an egg-like egg flow with the yellow ball. You can see it's going up and down in an egg-like fashion. Just change that one to 100 as well. Get rid of the 90 on both of them. So like I say, just have a play with the numbers really. Now what we're going to do here is have a play with the minus 100 minus 100 minus 45 45 on this. So there you go. So let's just set these back to a positive number. Let's just do plus 45. Let's we'll set them a little bit higher than that. And then I'm going to show you how to get away <clears throat> and save game salad a little processing power by not using. Um, any of these constraints here. We're actually going to be deleting all of these. Now I need to unlock the actor to get into the scene. Now Game Hero X, we can actually go into the scene and it's a lot better to do this. Layers, background, hero, position, X. Something seems to have gone wrong with that. Layers, background, hero, position, X. And then for the game angle, we want the hero rotation. And just copy that for this one as well. Current scene, layers, background, hero, position, X. The game angle is the rotation. And that's for the cost 
and I've just realized that this is for the sin. So the current scene, layer background, hero position would be Y. And you don't have to have, have this one at all, this self-rotation game angle, because we're actually getting the game angle from there. So we can delete that altogether. We can then go into the blue actor. We can then delete those three constraints. So you can see how this is saving game salad from doing some work. And we can also delete these. Delete that last one as well. Let's go in here. And delete everything from there. So now this actor is completely blank. Whenever you unlock an actor, it just completely ignores the original rules. You can see now, just with two constraints, we've actually saved on four. So we started out with six constraints, and now uh, we've only got two. And like I've said, it works in exactly the same way. You can go back, edit these numbers, and do what you like with them. So we'll have a plus 300. plus 300, press play, and there you go. So yeah, just keep changing the numbers, guys, and like I've said, I hope this tutorial helps you understand cost and sin a little bit more. <clears throat> if you basically just take the first number, and that's the distance from the center, so imagine them overlapping each other. If you want it 100 pixels away, then it just changed that and the hero rotation always starts at zero and you just can add that plus 300 so it's really really simple so just to recap make sure your sprites always face to the right the angle zero always starts here the distance the first number that we've got a hundred set at the moment depends how far you want it away from the center of the actor and the angle like I've said starts at zero and then goes all the way 45, 90, 135, 180 and so on and so on and I hope you find it useful cheers guys bye for now and thanks for the support over at deepblueapps.com